This is a uh, dehydration unit for a pneumatic control system. Um, up to 15 years ago, they were very popular, uh, but electronic controls have now made these virtually redundant. So what I intend to do is uh, strip this and convert it into a gas reclaim unit. Now, before anybody else says it, I do in fact like the sound of my own voice. Um, having been brought up in uh, Christchurch, Hampshire, southern England, uh, under the threat of a clip round the left ear roll, if I so much as dropped an H or didn't dot an I, um, one automatically learnt to speak the way uh, BBC broadcasters speak. It's not a snob issue, it's just uh, a local issue. Now what I have here are four refrigeration tanks which I'm using to decant air from a homemade air compressor. Uh, the reason being, I live next to a Beit Knesset, or Temple as the Americans call them, or Synagogo as we used to call it in southern England. Um, and this is Saturday, and I like to keep it quiet. So the air compressor is virtually silent, and all they hear here... is a slight hiss of uh, discharging air. Okay, so now I better get on and see what I can do by removing the uh, air dryer, the air filter over here, and simply using it to uh, suck gas out of a system, hopefully condense it and pump it into a, a vacuum tank. I did try this once before, but it took about half a day to evacuate 400 kilos of uh, gas. Now I'm sure the commercial uh, gas reclaim companies have a far more efficient system, but for some reason, in this godforsaken place, they haven't enforced the issue as yet. Even 3 on 12 can be bought on the black market. Okay, y'all, super. Right, now this is the homemade air compressor, which I have in fact shown how to build once before on YouTube. Um, it's using a Danfoss three-quarter horsepower unit with a non-return valve, which is the reason it was no good for refrigeration, because uh, gas kept uh, losing pressure through the uh, flappers. By using a non-return valve, it's quite acceptable as a small air compressor. Now, the noise you can hear, well, it's negligible. Certainly the folks over there, which is the uh, temple, aren't going to complain, because they won't hear it from here. So, what these are, well, it's like a, a scuba diving reservoir bank system. Only we're not talking about high pressure air here, we're talking about 120 psi, which is the normal cutout pressure for a commercial air compressor. Now, this will give me about five minutes working time, um, either spraying or uh, just blowing dust away, cleaning an item, um, before I need to refill them again. I only have to do this really on, on Saturdays, which is the Shabbat here, the Sabbath. Uh, and I tend to keep it quiet.
อนหน้าครับฝั่งสเตจเฟิร์ลโคงสองน้ำสตาร์ทอยู่ที่ประมาณ14ทุกคนดาวน์มาที่34องศาเซลเซียสเมื่อน้ำเข้ามาที่20องศาเซลเซียสในถังน้ำที่ผมทำคือใช้สนิทกับที่ควายมูร์ก What I did was change the uh, expansion valve for a measured capill. It's about 1.76 meters, um, 0.70 millimeter. So what I can do is actually do it by hand. When I want to bring the temperature down, not rapidly, but enough to provide adequate cooling, I siphon some of the water out from one of the tanks and put a small pump to return to the aquarium. I suppose it could be automated in a later date. Now bear in mind, you're actually seeing this as I test it the first time. I'm siphoning the water out by this one and pumping it back in by this one. I'll get a thermometer in a minute and show you the actual temperature exchange. Because this is brilliant. For something that was knocked up over the weekend, I'm really quite pleased with it. Uh, and by the way, this was an old unit of Creon 22 that was thrown out about five years ago. It's just been sitting around collecting dust. I finally decided to put it to some use.